Hi, I'm Cora with Bewilderknits, and welcome to Knitting 101, Lesson 2, The Knit Stitch. We're going to pick up right where we left off from, last, uh, from the last lesson, which is where we learned how to cast on. That's the process of getting the yarn onto the needles. And we used a long tail cast on for this. So you're going to end up with two um, yarn strands coming off of your needle. Um, one is going to be the yarn tail, which you want to trim to about six inches so you don't get confused. And then you'll have your working yarn. And that's, of course, your big ball of yarn that's sitting on the floor next to you. You're going to want to go ahead and push your work up towards those first few inches of your needle. You're going to hold the needle that has all those cast on stitches with your left hand and then your free needle will be held in your right hand. And you're going to want to hold your needles on the top sides of them. You don't want to hold them underneath to where they're resting on your hands. You want to actually grab a hold of them from the top. And you're actually going to hold it, hold, hold your needles over your work. So your stitches are going to be underneath where you're grabbing. All right, so let's get started. So you're going to go ahead and put your needle, your right hand needle through this first stitch on your left hand needle. Now each of these stitches, each of these loops has two sides. It has the front side and then it has the back side. This front side is the one that's facing you. Now when you put your needle in here, you're going to only want to grab the front portion of this stitch. So again, you're just grabbing this front portion right here. You're not grabbing both of them like that. You're just grabbing this one right here, just like that. All right, so you put that in there, and then you have a little crisscross with both of your needles. With your left hand, go ahead and grab onto both of the needles using your pointer finger and your thumb to basically pinch right at the center of that X you created. That'll free up your right hand. With your right hand, you're going to grab your working yarn and you're going to bring it towards the back. And you're going to make a counterclockwise loop around that back needle, just like this. So you got your, your stitch, that you got your needle there in the back, you've got your working yarn in the back, and you're going to make a counterclockwise loop, just like that. Counterclockwise loop. Now what you're going to do is you're going to continue to hold on to that yarn that you just made that counterclockwise loop with and then with your lower fingers go ahead and re-grab on to that needle into your right hand. So then you can release that the pinch you were holding with the uh, left hand. Now you're going to bring your right needle back through this original cast on stitch through the way it, you're going to bring it back the way you put it in. So it's just you're going to come right back out. And now this piece right here, that was that counterclockwise loop we made in the back. And now, of course, it's in the front. And the only thing we need to do now is this portion right here, this is the original cast on stitch. We're just going to slide that off of the left needle, just like that. Plop. All right, so now you've got one knit stitch on your right needle. Now let's do it again. We're going to Put the tip of your right needle through this first loop on your left needle. You're only going to grab or catch on to the front portion of this loop. All right, and then you're going to pinch it with your left hand so you can hold both needles in one hand, freeing up your right hand to make that counterclockwise loop around that back needle. Re-grab onto that needle with your right hand and then bring it back out the way you put it in and then you're going to slip it off of the left hand needle. And let's do it again. Bringing it in there, counterclockwise loop on the back needle, re-grab that right needle, and bring the tip of your right needle back through that loop the way you brought it in, and then slide it off of your left needle. Now as you can see, I'm really holding my needles with my pinky and my ring fingers. And that kind of frees up these other fingers to do all the work, such as pushing these, these uh, stitches on the left side closer to the tip. And then the ones on the right side, you're bringing them back down as we transfer and knit them onto the other needles. So again, we're bringing that in there, pinching that so that we can make our counterclockwise loop 
re-grab onto the needle and then bring it back through just like that and then slide it off and you're just going to keep doing that now as you can see a few times I've been uh, kind of wiggling it in just trying to get that in there because you want to be able to fit your needle in there to the point where it's at the thickest part of your needle and then that's when you pinch do your counterclockwise loop and then bring it back out there you go so in that first lesson when I was talking about casting on and don't do it too tight that's the reason right there is because you need to be able to fit your needle a second needle in this one loop counterclockwise and then bring it through slide it off there you go bring it through all right again we're bringing it through this front this front side of that loop pinching I'm going to do a counterclockwise around the back needle and then bring it forward there we go through there and then slide that original stitch off of the left needle And we'll just keep on doing this. A couple more stitches and then we're done with this row. There we go. Alright, so now as you can see there's nothing on the left needle now and everything's on the right needle. So to get do the start the second row, all we have to do is switch hands with the needles. And that'll bring the yarn needle back over to your left hand and your free needle over to your right hand. Now when you're making this transition, you want to take note here that sometimes when you turn it around, you might end up with your working yarn dangling on the back side, and that's incorrect. You want it to be dangling in the front. And the reason being is because if it's dangling in the back, I don't know if you can see, you got one stitch here, but if you move it to the back, it, look, it turns it into two stitches practically. You've got those two loops there, which will be confusing, and you may actually try to knit into both of those as two separate stitches, when it's really not. It's just one. So, and also note that, you know, that those end, end stitches can get a little loose, but don't worry, they'll tighten up. That's just the nature of knitting. All right, so again, we're grabbing on from the top over our, our, our stitches. Everything is up here in the first four inches of the yarn, or excuse me, of the needles. And then we're going to go right back in, just again, only capturing that front section of that loop, of the first loop, pinching your two needles together so that you can free up your right hand to make that counterclockwise loop in the back needle. And then you're going to bring it back through the front the way you brought it in, and you're going to slide it off of the needle. All right, again, there we go. And then we're bringing it through and sliding it off. And we're going to go again, picking up that front portion of the loop, bringing it through, pinching with the back needle. We're going to make a counterclockwise loop. And then we're going to re grab onto the needle. And we're going to bring it back through the way we came in and then slide it off the needle. And again, we're just going to keep doing this for our second row. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed up and do a few extra rows here and give you an idea of what this is going to look like. Um, when you're just knitting rows, just knit, 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 all of your rows are knitted, that is called garter stitch. And the nice thing about garter stitch, especially when you're making scarves or things that people will see both sides of the, uh, the product that you made, so again, we're flipping that. Again, always making sure that yarn, your working yarn tail is in the front of your yarn. So there you go, you, we've got a few, few rows here. And in lesson three, I'll go ahead and teach you how to cut, or excuse me, bind off, which is the process of getting the yarn secured and off of the needles.